we have a hopper bottle, some plumber's tape, and a PSI gauge, and we're going to build a DIY pint to pressure gauge. We also have an older brother. Hey bro, how's it going? Yes, good, thank you. I'm the, um, I'm the one that ended up with the looks and the brains. Clearly, okay, great. So, um, tell me what we're going to do today. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to drill an 8mm hole first into the plasticky bit, and then I'm going to go up to a 10mm, and then we're going to warm it up with a, um, this is like a, a camping lighter, okay. and, and with this lighter, you can actually hold it upside down and, and up whatever else. Right. Um, and then, as it's warm, we're going to tap the thread in, and once it cools, we, we'll take it out. Cool. And then we're going to put some tape on there. Okay. Put it in, hopefully it seals, and jobs are good then. Jobs are good then. Right, let's crack on. Right, let's get cracking then. Now, before we start though, please smash that like button because it really means a lot. Okay. Also here, we've got something to hold it uh, nice and still. What you don't want to do is hold it with your hands, slip off and go into your hands or, or anything. Yep. Obviously, safety first. Stay safety first. Right, that is moved a little bit. That's right. So that's the eight mil. Okay, that's good. Ten mil. Ten mil done, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, so should we do the heating up now? Yeah, heat her up. How's it going? Yeah, it's good. It seems to be working. I think we've got to heat up a bit more. Okay. It, it's actually the hole's been made bigger. Yeah, by the by the the thing, right? Yeah. By the threads of the gauge. Yeah. Okay, so we've heated her up. That should be nice and soft and hopefully it's going to create its own thread. What are we saying, bro? Right, so I've wound it in. Okay, that looks good, right? So we'll just leave it there to cool for a bit. Yeah. All right, cool. So the time it takes to boil a kettle and make a coffee is how long we've left it for. And now it's nice and cold. So we're going to just gently unscrew the gauge. Okay, looking good. Okay, that's off. And you can see that's created a thread in there. All right. So we put some plumber's tape on. Just parts of fiddly part. Move that much. Okay. And then so on the threads, I actually went clockwise. So as you as you wind it on, you're not having the flap going against the the thread. The thread, right? Okay. Okay, we're done. And that is just a light nip. Nothing major. Okay. 
Cool. Well, I'm going to drive home in a bit and uh, and test her out. But yeah, thumbs up for Carlos. Cheers, Carlos. Cheers. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, so here we are at the brewing uh, cupboard. And you can see here the dial was about 1.6, 1.7, something like that. And you can see the PSI is at 10. So that's working a treat. Um, I did have to take the cap off and put some more uh, plumbing tape on there just to get it sealed because I could hear some of the gas releasing. Um, but yeah, uh, put some, put some, put some more tape there. Screwed it back in. There's no gas being released. It's at 10. So yeah, I think I think that's a success. Um, as always, I'll I'll put a, a video up there or up there or up there or whatever. But yeah, see you in the next one. Cheers.